Okay, boys and girls, I'm back with another Worldly Wise video. This one is on uh, exercise 10D on pages 117 and the very top of 118. So here we're completing sentences that demonstrate your knowledge of the words in bold. So just like in 10C, it's always good to go back to the bold word and look for the word meaning. So I'm going to use it for the word regain. So regain... If I, if you don't remember, means to get back. By following the doctor's orders, I slowly regain my health. They even give you simple sentences. Now, don't use those. Use your own, but you can use them as a guide. So to get back something. So I want to write a little note to myself. To get back. And then personalize it. To regain something means to, let's see, I don't want to say to get back because that's the same that's almost like the definition. To regain something means to uh, recover something you may have lost, like a water bottle. Okay. See what I did there? Now, you can come up with your own, but that's just an, an example. A farmer's livelihood. So livelihood, I want to go back and look that word up again. And it means the means of supporting oneself. The store owners in my neighborhood depend on shoppers for their livelihood. Oh, okay. So when I go back and look at here, a farmer's livelihood is, let's see. So this is, to uh, what was that again? Let me refresh my memory. Oh, I forgot. I got to go back again. Don't okay, when that happens. Supporting oneself, right. Okay, so let's go back. And let's look at, let's write that support oneself. And what I mean by support oneself, they mean with money, boys and girls, money. So a farmer's livelihood is dependent on how many crops they harvest. If you can grow a lot of crops and able to harvest them and then sell them, your livelihood depends on that. So try that strategy. Make your sentences meaningful. Don't just write one word, boys and girls. Really give details here. And I want you to finish uh, 3 through 10 on pages 117 and 118. Okay, boys and girls, good luck.